Okay, so uh, this time it's about uh, time, uh, frame timing, and frame buffering. So right now, if I run through, I've only got basically, I've got no timing whatsoever. It's just going full full throttle the whole time. And when it's done, and because I only have the one command buffer, I keep uh, overriding it all the time. So like, yeah, you can see this message. Uh, trying to uh, reset the command buffer when it's still in use. All out um, buffer objects allocated must be not be in a pending state. So basically, because it's running so fast right now, it gets back and resets. Um, if I can find where it is, resets the command buffers that I recorded for the previous frame before it's been, before it's finished, really, the first one. Um, so that obviously means I got to uh, fix that. I got to have like per frame variable buffers and per frame fences, semaphores, everything else like that. And, I, and I've also probably going to want to use, uh, figure out some kind of way to <clears throat> do uh, frame timing, the time per frames, or time between recording of frames anyways. So <clears throat> first things first, uh, the window data is still kind of there. Per frame data. So what I have here is VK seven four. Image and VK seven four. When the render is complete. And I want a per frame Coolant and buffer. Do I need that? No. So for the moment, what I can do is per frame data. Oh, yes, I also need a under complete fence or frame complete. Yeah, like that. So first things first, I want to get a. Yeah, I want to be able to create one of these things. Which should be not too bad. I need a VK device. And no except as well. There's nothing to exception out on. No, none of those functions here. Hold that back. Let's create. So first thing to create is the semaphores. Where's the semaphore create info? There it is. Device, present image, whoop, get out of the way, present image acquired, yes. Same thing, we're creating a semaphore, but for render complete. Okay, fence, create info, whoop, wow. Uh, Type fence green info. Is there anything else of interest on fence creation? Create flags. Okay. Let's look at the spec. Fence. Oh. 
unsignal. Uh, oh, yeah, I can create it by as it already being signaled, but I don't think I didn't want that for this. So, no. No, I want the commas. Same thing, if it's not successful, just return it. Otherwise, command pool, which I have here. I can probably, um, no. I was thinking maybe doing a command pool for all of them, but I'll just keep it simple, just per frame. for allocation. I'm getting lost ready. Device, command buffer, return res. Otherwise, return res anyways. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's everything we want. Frame data. We'll put it here for the moment. Device, that's all we need. If res, the result is not good. Do that. Make sure it runs. Oh, okay. Not quite. Oh. Yeah, okay. Well, it didn't die. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just swap everything over now. So we can get rid of the semaphore stuff, the pool, the buffer. So there's that. It's basically moved up there instead. Okay, we've got a bunch more errors showing up. Present image acquired.
Okay, what is this going? Canada constructor, no file, no known conversion from that to that. Yes, there is. Just restart it. And there we go. Now it figures it out, except for what if this is. Okay, it's all converted over. Let's see how bad this dies. Pretty bad. Okay, let's see if we can. Um, okay, wait idle. Device, wait, idle. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. If I do that, there'll be a lot less issues from it overriding the command buffer, at least. So we'll just get a different error for the, for the moment. Yes, we will. And it'll be the uh, fact that I haven't even checked if first command uh, Q supports surface drawing, which I'll get to later. Destroying these guys. Swap image record. Actually, that is one thing I do want to do, though is I for sure when we're shutting down the application, I want to make sure that the device if if we actually in, if properly initialize the damn thing in the first place, then we wait for it to complete for whatever remaining commands and that to complete so we can destroy everything safely after that. Okay, back to this other stuff. Render complete. Percent image required. We do all this, we got that. I should at least uh, deal with the uh, complaints about not destroying things at the end. Not quite, not all of them. Render pass, frame buffer, yeah, okay. Frame buffers and the render pass, that makes sense. Um, render pass pool. Uh, not destroy, deinitialize. So that's the render pass, and that just leaves the frame buffers, which will have to be deleted before the render pass, because they're dependent on the render pass, but I currently don't have 
any real effective way on just doing it manually. Which I do not really like. Ah, fuck it. I'll just do it anyways. Do it before the render pass instruction. And yeah, properly destroying everything we need in the correct order too. What a miracle, a Christmas miracle in October 28th. Oh, the AMD events today. Hmm. Gonna have to launch that later. Uh, anyways, so everything's safely destroyed. Now, this. Uh, swap chain unsupported queue or you know what no 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 per frame data I'm going to try to solve hmm buffering I want to buffer more than one frame so if we have let's say let's buffer up to three frames I mean, I'll never actually do have all three in flight at once yet when I'm just displaying a blue nothing, but eventually, which also means I'll need a... I don't have a ray included. No, I do not. Where is it? Where is it? Frame data. through the frames, create them all. And um, frame index, which starts at zero. And then we'll just go through incrementing them. Once through, yeah, through that. So first of all, we got that, then we want to destroy them all correctly down here. going wrong quite yet. Yes, uh, things are going quite wrong, actually. Yes, uh, frame index. Got that, got that. And now it's an array. Actually, no, there's a better way to do this. One thing we want to do is once we go through this, then we want to figure out if we want, if we can, even can render. Which means, of course, um, no, we do want the fences to already be signaled. Because the first time in, yeah, the first time in, we want to say, we want to check if it's already been signaled to say the previous frame is complete. And since no frame has ever been completed on it, yeah. Create signaled. Okay. Hmm.
equals um, plus one. And we need to check the frame. Defense count of one, which I can, and it's the uh, data frame index. Dot frame complete. What's the other ones? What are the other options? Uh, let's just do the doc. Um, it's creation, exporting, exporting. I want to check it. Get fence file descriptor. Hmm. There we go. Wait for fences. Okay. Wait all this condition that must be satisfied. Okay. Don't wait. If that's true, then We don't want to just like it keep iterating up. Hmm. Okay, well, we need to reset the fence. Let's just keep on, just keep reusing the first one first. It's an end pointer. Yeah, it's a bit better. So you only come back in if we've completed, if the fence is signaled which means we should no longer require the weight at the end. Because it will basically be almost the same thing.
Okay, that was on the wrong screen. But otherwise, I'm... That's not right, is it? It's just not even coming back in, is it? No, it's not. Why? Oh, I didn't even attach the fence, did I? I submitted, and then I just never put... Yeah. Dot... Um... That's the frame complete fence. Let's give that a bit more, uh, again, yeah, another try. There we go. Now we're going through real fast. Hi, right. So we don't need the weight here since we have that. Don't need the idle, weight idle. We can just rely on the fence. We can rely on the internal synchronization to help us. Now, next is to be able to swap between frames. Now, I need uh, something a bit more useful. Hmm. I really need, okay. So that's, hmm. if that, then frame index equals test frame index. Then we moved up to the next one. Same thing happens here. If it fails, then it keeps retrying the old one. Not quite. Instead, it's just going to die. DK weight for fences required. And it was specified as a null handle. Really? Um, okay. If it's greater than or equal to Zero based, uh, zero indexed arrays. Then reset back to zero. Okay. Let's see, we've got frame index of one, two, zero. Okay, we are flipping through the frames. can actually do like this mod no I don't really want to do mod shoes actually I will do that Make sure my uh, logic is correct because it is 
two o'clock in the morning and I'm incredulous. Barely even here. I didn't need I... Extreme index is one. Next is two. Next is zero. One. Okay, yeah, yeah. Nice. So, I need a frame timing. Frame timing is the rest of this. This was so. This was the frame buffering, very light frame buffering. Now I need the frame timing. So kind of along the lines of the clocks I had earlier, but I want history, so I can average out frame time. Mm hmm, very simple one. Say thirty-two historical frames, or like a hundred. What? How many? Hundred twenty-eight. Uh, this will be the historical set. Kind of just go through the array like a round robin. I don't want to actually uh, keep adding to the end of that. I just want to go through the array and go through the array again because I'm probably going to use just do like an average. Like I get the last frame time, but I also get like the average, which just allows me to just quickly average all those values together. I hope, anyways. <clears throat> Basically, it's all it's public. Just leave it public. Last frame time that. Last frame time that that that. So.
can we just say like auto, like a pointer. Okay, we'll put slap this in here. It starts at zero. Um, we want it here. A new frame. See how this explodes or doesn't? No, it doesn't even compile. Because it needs to be like um, iterator. It didn't explode. It's actually doing quite all right, looks like. Okay. Uh, then probably something we do want to do is every so often Once a second, we're going to display if I'm going to follow log. Actually, we're just. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then we have That's not going to be very accurate. I need the average. Hmm. Time.
and return that. Um, and let's turn off validation so I don't get this stuff for the moment. The spam. Nope, not quite. Oh yes, I need a dot count. I don't think it's that lot, 73 seconds each. Seems a bit much. Ah, no, 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 no. So what? Oh, yes, I should perhaps start at zero. It might help. Okay, that actually makes some sense. Because it's just so fast right now that... Um... As I've retrained time, let's do. the average. Not sure if this will actually do anything. Let's see how that comes out. For, okay, yeah, yeah. If I move it around, okay, if I just go put it on the 4K screen, yeah, it dips down to a thousand. Okay. That's frame timing, I guess, or the very basics of frame timing. That is, let us make these private and then keep this public. And then I will ch add a templatable type 
last frame time. Turn that of Yeah, yeah, I like this. This is a very basic thing. This I will keep around, put in a little. It's a wee little class. Just got to get it out of here. Let's uh, put this in, put this in. Uh, documentation later. Not quite. Oh yes, I need to. So I got frame timer, I got frame buffering. You know, nice quick little session. Added in. Yeah, okay, I think I'll call it there then. 213. All right, cheers. <laughs>